We want to move on now to the danger speeding by many of us. A problem so bad, police are calling it an outright epidemic. Yeah, Illinois police tell us they've cited more than 2,400 drivers for topping 100 miles per hour this year alone. News Force Paige Halsey is live tonight in the Metro East looking into the super speeder problem. Paige? Yeah, right now, if you use a radar gun like this on almost any area interstate, you are going to see drivers creeping above the speed limit. But it's just how many of them are going 30, 40 miles an hour over the speed limit here in Illinois that is really starting to scare some. A lot of people speeding. Traffic is very, very scary these days. <laughs> Illinois drivers we talk to say when they hit the road, they are immediately on high alert. I mean, if you're going to make it on the highways these days, I mean, you have to be a very defensive driver. You have to know your surroundings all the time. That includes watching for drivers speeding up from behind. Oh, yes, clearly. I, I speed, but I speed at like five over maybe. If it's 65, I might go 70, but people fly by me going... Like I'm standing still. It's becoming an epidemic for some reason. On Facebook, Illinois State Police say so far this year, 2,492 drivers across the state were cited for going more than 100 miles an hour. 58 of those tickets being written in District 11, encompassing Madison, St. Clair, Monroe, Bond, and Clinton counties. That's a lot of speeding tickets, especially over 100 miles an hour, and that's a crazy speed to be driving on the interstates and they're always so crowded and there's deer running this time of year so it, it's incredibly dangerous to be driving that speed. ISP says the excessive speeding is on nearly every interstate, especially those that are wide open. A ticket for going that fast can cost up to $2,500. And if you see someone going that fast, ISP has this advice. Don't engage with them. Don't don't try to cut them off. Don't try to slow them down in any way. Let us try to find them and we'll pull them over and, and, and deal with it after we get them stopped. Now, in addition to this excessive speeding, ISP troopers say their other big focus right now is enforcing Scott's law. That's what requires drivers to move over, give troopers more room to work on the side of the road. This year, they've had 26 troopers hit. So between slowing down, moving over, putting phones down, they say they will be out in full enforcement over the holidays to make sure everyone makes it home safe for the holidays. We're live in Fairview Heights. Paige Holsey, News 4. All right.